So here we are, basically exactly where I left off. I'm just splitting these up for the time, um, basically. So yeah, don't know what episode we're on now, but uh, below me is the demo, the block demo and the doors demo. That was the previous two episodes. Next episode, we'll be doing a little tutorial on how to build, how to place your blocks, uh, how to operate some of the menus and things like that. But this time, I'm just gonna give you a little showcase on my one by one by one monstrosity um, it's just a little bit of fun as you know in case you didn't see the last episode uh, we took a little look at this door very briefly and it explores the idea of using the hinges with the non-physical parent uh, sorry child entities to get away with some very compact interesting doors and obviously the sign that we're using for the intro at the moment this one here has its own oh, has its own ability to deform using just a few hinges and a rail to move the, uh, the lettering. As you can see, it really it just rolls out. And obviously, you can use that for some kind of shutter door. That could be the top beam. That could be 50 blocks long. You know, um, I've just done them in multiple colours to make it eye grabbing, really. But anyway, let's take a look at this ship. So people are saying that this might not be allowed. Um, I posted it up. It was like the first thing I built after making all after doing all of this here. I thought, oh, you know, the Jetsons, they got that briefcase spaceship and he drives it to work. And I thought, oh, well, they're non-physical. Maybe we could just make a ship that folds into one block. Now I appreciate the view screen's a little bit ugly, but this was the best solution I could come up with at the time. And, you know, to be honest, it's, it's not too bad. You can turn it off when you're not in space, because there is an atmosphere here. I am in a spacesuit. Um, but essentially I had limited options because one is just, it, it, I don't know, I just made this for fun. And like so much wiring, the entire bottom floor is covered in wiring. Um, when I originally showed the ship off, it had very little in the way of these tiles, which cover up some of this here. Now I could have taken these blocks out and taken the hinge off. This hinge can be removed without losing the functionality of the hinge, but I don't know, I've, it's a bit iffy uh, when you're removing this. Sometimes it messes it up and you have to start again with a new hinge and uh, like every single one of these leads to a hinge. So we've got 32 hinge wires per block and there's like 18 times three. So 18 times three times 32 and then probably one of the one side of the wall as well. So to say there was a lot of wiring and to say there was a lot of fettling to get it to work is an understatement, but it went pretty smoothly to be honest. So I'll just show you the ship real quick because I don't want to fake you out. Uh, the engine's surprisingly folded. I'm I'm expecting systems to not fold because it seems a little bit exploitive. Um, the ship core itself doesn't actually allow hinges. So maybe sharing that juju with systems, I don't know, but I don't know when I shared it there seemed to be a lot of discussion about exploiting because obviously if you can make an entire ship do this well you know you can probably do that and get some kind of combat advantage but I've just thought it would be fun to have an escape pod that turns in that folds out like the Jetsons into um, you know something like that I thought I could put like a docking thing on the back or somewhere and then I could dock it in the ship, hit the button, dock it to my main ship, dock it in you know, the hangar, and then hit that button, and it doesn't take up any space in the cargo bay. I had a couple of other ideas regarding that too, but 
I got the idea from the tutorial. In fact, let's go over there and have a look. Obviously, they haven't done this, but it's what give me the idea. So, so we've got a door. It works. We'll go in the back. And go up here. I'm going to open the window because it's easier to see. So F to get in the chair. F on the joystick. And we're away. Let's try not to crash. Right, so we want to go in the... Is it the tutorial room? No, it's not that one. It's this one. Okay, we want to slow down. Slow down. Oh boy. Brakes. Brakes. Okay, flying's actually pretty smooth today. Okay, so let's go to maneuvers. And we'll do the rest that way. F4 for external camera. So it's very slow when you're on maneuvering. So let's see seat bring it down there's no gravity implemented yet as far as i can tell but i'm i'm really hoping that, that that's a thing i don't know it's very early pre-alpha as i say right so let's fold up the ship because we can Some of those little dragon ball things when they throw the thing and it turns into a car or something. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff like this. Compact vehicles. Yeah, I think it was in here. In here. In the tutorial room. Ah, there it is. This. This got me thinking. I was like, huh, oh, that's that's a bloody good idea. I'll fold the bed in the wall. I know, I know it's a thing in real life, but just like... If you've got a small ship with a small space, you want to hide as much as possible. It's got that fifth element feel to it, I guess. Um, so it's kind of meta. But yeah, so that is Tomino's compacting ship. One by one by one. Well, it's actually 1.2 by 1.2 by 2. But because um, it's too long there. Um, but hey... Who's counting? So, right. Oh boy. There we go. Let's get back in. Go back up to the base. So we'll go over the controls, how to build, um, which blocks are the most important, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Like I say, I've just recently started playing the game proper. I had a, I checked it out a couple of times and I didn't really know if it was worth sinking the time into or letting them sort of... Because um, there were a couple of things about the build system when it first came out. And like I say, that's all gone. The block placement is so much easier now. So much easier now. Um, and it's actually really, really quite enjoyable. Oh, hang on a minute. I've just got to... Uh oh, no air up here. Role play. So yeah, you got a ring world to check out when you first start off, which is pretty cool. And uh, there is plenty to discover and explore. However, we'll be checking that out in a, in the next episode once we've figured out how we actually build stuff. So yeah, uh, thanks again for watching. I'm going to disappear. Okay. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, give us a like if you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to put a link to the uh, ship download for this ship in the description. So, yeah.